Hi there, we are going to add and subtract polynomials. There are quite a few really important terms that go along with this skill. So if you would like to pause this video and copy everything down, please feel free to do so and then hit play when you're ready. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk through each of these and give examples while I go along. Um, a monomial is a number variable or the product of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. So this last part, the product of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. An example of this would just be something like 4x squared. That's a monomial. And it says one or more variables, so I could add in like y to the fourth, and it would still be a monomial because it's a product of just a single number with one or more variables that contain whole number exponents. So if I had this, for example, that would not be considered a monomial because it has a negative exponent. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variables in a monomial. So if you're looking at the one that I just gave you, we have an exponent of two and an exponent of four. So the degree of that monomial would be six. A polynomial is a monomial or sum of monomials, each called a term. So a polynomial would be 4x squared plus 6x cubed um, plus 3x or something like that. That's just an example. So it's the sum of monomials. And they also could be subtracted um, because you know subtraction is just adding a negative. So it doesn't have to just be addition. Now, the degree of a monomial was the sum of the exponents of the variables in a single monomial. The degree of a polynomial is the greatest degree of the terms of a polynomial. So if you, we look at the one, this example that I just gave you right here, and we put this in order from um, highest exponents to lowest, so we'll rewrite this, 6x to the third plus 4x squared plus 3x. The degree of that entire polynomial is just three. So it's the greatest degree when written in order like that. Now, the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the first term when a polynomial is written with decreasing exponents. So I just rewrote the one with 6x to the third de um, by decreasing exponents. So that coefficient of the first term is the leading coefficient. So that monomial, that polynomial, excuse me, right there, has a leading coefficient of six and a degree of three. And then a binomial is just a polynomial with two terms, and a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. So we're gonna work on just rewriting these really quickly. So if we have six plus four x to the third plus x, we rewrite it so the exponents decrease from left to right we'll end up with 4x to the third plus x plus six. Now that it's rewritten that way, we're able to look and tell what the um, degree and the poly, um, leading coefficients are. But first let's look um, at each one here. So the degree of six is one, the degree of four x to the third is three, and the degree of x is also 1. So we have the degree of each term. Now we want to rewrite the polynomial so the degrees decrease, uh, which we already did. Identify the degree of the polynomial, so the highest exponent. So the degree of this polynomial here is 3, and the leading coefficient is 4. And I'll highlight these here. So this is where the degree came from, and this is where the leading coefficient came from. All right, so here we're just going to quickly identify the degree and the leading coefficient. First step would be to rewrite them with decreasing exponents. So our degree here is three, or I'm sorry, our degree here is two, and our leading coefficient is three. This one over here, when we, when we re rewrite it, negative 4m to the 6th plus 8m to the 5th plus 3m, our degree is 6, and our leading coefficient is negative 4. And I'll go through and highlight these as well. So the leading coefficient is the coefficient of that first term, 
and the degree is the highest exponent. All right, so let's classify these first um, before we get on to practicing with adding and subtracting. So you're gonna determine whether each expression is a polynomial. If it is, you're gonna identify the degree and the number of terms. And if it isn't, you're gonna explain why. So if you'd like to pause and try this on your own, go for it. So the first one, the expression six, it is a polynomial, but it has a degree of one because six technically has an exponent of one with it and it's only one term. So it is a monomial. This next one is not a polynomial and it is not because of this right here. It has a negative exponent. Number three is also not a polynomial because of this. It has a variable exponent. Polynomials have to have all whole number exponents. This one here, yes, it is a polynomial. We are going to rewrite it in order. And then we can identify that the degree is four and the leading coefficient, I'll just abbreviate it as LC because we're running out of room, is six. Number five is also a polynomial. We will rewrite it in order. Negative three X squared plus four X plus eight. The degree of this one is two and the leading coefficient is negative three. Okay, um, it also um, asks for a number of terms. So here, this is two, so it's a binomial. And this one, three, has three, so it's a trinomial. Okay, all right, so we are going to now look at adding. So you're being asked to find the sum of these two polynomials. And there's two ways to do this. You can line, do it vertically or horizontally. Let's look at vertically first. Um, I personally prefer this way when it's possible because in my opinion, it is easy to just look down. So two minus three is negative one. Negative three X plus seven X is positive four X. And then we have four x squared minus 8x squared gives us negative 4 squared. So I like to see it that way. Some of you are totally fine doing it horizontally by grouping like terms. So what happened here was these like terms were pulled out. So the 4x squared and the negative 8x squared came right here. And then we had our x's, negative 3x and 7x were pulled out and came here. And then two and negative three were pulled out and put together here. So then you simplify everything, two minus three is negative one, negative three x plus seven x is positive four, and then four x squared minus eight x squared is negative four. So no matter which way you do this, you end up with the same answer. It, this is honestly just a matter of preference. So let's come down here and we will do two examples together. So I'm gonna set this up um, vertically, but again, you can do this which, whichever way works for you. So I like nine X squared plus X plus 10, and then negative seven X squared plus 12x plus seven. And just add straight down, 10 plus seven is 17, positive 17. 12x plus x is 13x, positive. And then nine x squared minus seven x squared is two x squared. And I just went right to left, you don't have to. So that would be your solution. Now I want to show you something really quickly with doing it um, vertically like this. So let's say this exponent here instead was a three. You can still do this um, this way, 
what I like to do is I like to take the polynomial that has the highest degree, so in this case it would now be here, and write it first. So let's say we have negative 7x to the third. I know I'm missing x squared, so I'm going to actually leave a blank here. And then I'm going to go ahead and write 12x plus 7. And I'll erase this because we're getting into the next um, question here. And then we have plus 9x squared plus x plus 10. So you can still, and you can even honestly put a 0 here. You could still add this way. Um, this would just come down by itself. This would come down by itself. This would be 13x, and this would be 17. So just because you have different um, degrees, you can still um, add vertically. You just have to add in basically placeholders. So I'm going to take all this off here so it doesn't get it confusing. And we're going to look over here. So this time it's out of order. So if you notice, um, just be careful with this. If you want to go set this up vertically, make sure you don't just slide this under this without paying attention to the exponents. So we have 8x cubed minus 6x squared plus x. And then I have negative 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x. Make sure your subtraction signs come along with the term behind it as a negative. So 8x to the third minus 3x to the third is 5x to the third. 6x squared, I'm sorry, negative 6x squared minus 7x squared is negative 13x squared. And then x plus 2x is plus 3x. So that is how you add polynomials. So now let's go down to subtracting polynomials. So let's say we're going to find the difference here. The first thing you need to do is distribute the subtraction sign to each term in the second set of parentheses. So right here, this subtraction sign came to this 7x and made it a negative 7x. It came to the negative 8x squared and made it positive. And it came to the negative 3 and made it positive. From here, you can combine like terms and simplify. You can combine vertically, horizontally, it's, it's up to you. So um, in this case, they were combined horizontally. So we had our x squared here. We had our regular single x's here, and then the whole numbers here. And then they were just simply combined, and your answer was 12x squared minus 10x plus 5. So we're going to come down and try this together. So 9x squared plus x plus 10 plus 7x squared minus 12x minus 7. So I'm going to just do this um, horizontally this time. So I have 9x squared plus 7x squared, which is 16x squared. I have, I'm going to cross them out so I don't get confused. I have x minus 12x, which is negative 11x. And then I have 10 minus 7, which is 3. Over here. And again, at, at any point, if you want to try these on your own, just hit pause and then play when you're ready to see the explanation. So we have 8x to the third minus 6x squared plus x minus 2x plus 7x squared plus 3x squared, uh, cubed, sorry. Same thing, combine like terms. 8x to the third, 3x to the third is 11x to the third. Negative 6x squared plus 7x squared is positive 1x squared. And then right here, we have x minus 2x, which is negative x. So there is how you subtract. All right, and the last bit is just a little bit of a review. So I'm only going to do the odds, and then I'll come back and just give you the answers for the evens. Um, so if you want to copy them down, please go for it. But I'm just going to work through just the odd numbers. So this one here. The degree, well, first we need to rewrite it. So the exponents are descending. Our degree is 3, and our leading coefficient is negative 2. OK, we're going to find the sum or difference here. 5x squared minus 9 
plus 9x squared plus 10. We have 14x squared plus 1. Here we will distribute 5y squared minus 4, and I'm going to set this up um, vertically, minus 2y squared minus 7. So 3y squared minus 11. Okay, and I'm going to come through and just give you the answers for these. So if you wanted to try the even numbers, go ahead and hit pause, try them on your own, and then you can come back and um, get the answers. So the degree here is 6, leading coefficient is 2. Once added, this is m squared plus 2m plus 2. And then this one is g to the third plus 4g squared minus 13g plus 9. So there you go. We just covered adding and subtracting polynomials. If you have any questions, make sure you write them down and contact your teacher. And um, as always, you can rewind back through this and um, see the notes again if needed.